Hi friends, welcome back to All in a Law. This is a quick pediatrics cuped, and today I'm going to talk about Noonan syndrome. Noonan's syndrome, and this is for USMLE Step Two CK and for Step Three. And even for a MRC PCH examination or any other medical what you call pediatric board examination so let's talk it's sporadic or autosomal dominant disorder okay it's a 46 X X or a 46 X Y okay and which chromosome chromosome 12 remember and equal male and female equally affected right these Noonan this Noonan syndrome has similar characteristics to which syndrome Turner syndrome Turner syndrome remember okay let's talk about the clinical features they have a what you call triangular shaped face I don't know how to draw the triangular shaped face okay right triangular shaped face Hypertillerism, triangular shaped face, hypertillerism, okay, down slanting eyes, down slanting eyes, ptosis, strabismus, Strabismus, amblyopia, very important guys, very important, remember the, what you call, uh, clinical features, amblyopia, refractive errors, okay, low set ears with thickened helices, low set ear, Okay, low set ears, high nasal bridge, high nasal bridge, short webbed neck. Okay, where do you see short webbed neck? Turner syndrome, right? Okay, the most important thing for a Noonan syndrome, what thing you should remember is pulmonary stenosis. Very important, pulmonary stenosis. Very important. Okay, and other cardiac involvement is AST it will settle the fact okay then they will have the pectus carni carinatum excavatum scoliosis pectus carinatum or excavatum scoliosis okay then patient can have lymphedema Prominent parts of the disease, hypotonia. And these patients can have mental retardation, MR, mental retardation. 25% of the patients, okay. Delayed sexual maturation. Okay. Premature ovarian follicle, ovarian failure. And undescended testis. Okay. Got it, guys? So these are the what? What are the important things that you should remember about the Noonan syndrome for medical examination is not the treatment part, clinical features. Because in USMLE or MRCPCH examination, they will give the characteristic clinical history. Either in the form of directly or indirectly, indirectly in the form of like sign and symptoms of the pulmonary stenosis, ASD. Okay. So you have to diagnose the disease and they will not give you a direct option that like uh, which of the following is a disease okay what's the diagnosis they might ask you indirectly like which of the following chromosome could be involved in this patient chromosome 12 remember or which of the following is a pattern of inheritance is autosomal recessive autosomal dominant x-linked x-linked recessive or blah 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 okay so these are the things how they trick you in the usmle thank you so much for watching this video take care